hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cooking vlog i'm so excited because i'm ready to eat my food even though it's not gonna be ready until tomorrow so today is saturday and i decided to start out this cooking video now because i'm about to start on my sunday dinner i'm gonna get some beef stew collard greens and white rice for sunday dinner tomorrow and i said well let me go ahead and start tonight so that everything can be ready at a decent time tomorrow so that's what i'm doing tonight i'm going to make my collard greens collard greens taste better the next day if you know you know i'm going to season my beef stew meat tonight and then cook it or start it tomorrow in the morning put it in the crock pot and all that so let's get started with the video So I'm starting with my ham hocks. I just put them inside and then I filled the water all the way up. That might seem like a lot of water, but it's really not because it needs to cook down and I still need like a little bit of juice in there so that the collard greens can have some nice flavor and all that. So this usually takes like two, three hours. So we'll be back when those are ready. Okay, so while the ham hocks are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and season my beef stew. These are all of the seasonings that I'm going to use in my beef stew. I've never used mustard as a seasoning for my beef stew, but I use it in like chicken and stuff like that. So I think that'll be good. <laughs> seem like a lot of seasoning but it's really not it's a lot of meat so don't be afraid to season your food so it can taste like something so now i'm going to mix everything up yes i wash my hands don't worry about me worry about you so yeah mix 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 well and then just wash your hands after really well with hot water and soap and that is some nice well seasoned meat for some reason i like to smell it i just smelled it and it smells good so i think we are good i'm gonna put this in a, um i'm gonna cover it with some foil and put it in the refrigerator so it can marinate i already seen the collard greens the bag says pre-washed so technically well it says triple washed and ready to cook, but I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I have to rinse them off a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do. I literally just rinse them off with water. I don't do anything special because they're not like fresh, fresh greens that need to be clean, clean. So I'm just rinsing them off, y'all. I also pick out the stems, like something like this. I don't like too many stems, so I'll just pick it out. I'm using cold water. Just giving it a little wash, a little twirl, and that's it. Do y'all use bad collard greens, or do you prefer fresh collard greens that you have to wash and cut up and all that? I prefer these, honestly. Now, I've never made fresh collard greens, but... To me, this is much easier, less hassle, you know, so this is what I do. You don't have to do what I do. Let me know in the comments, what do y'all prefer? And the ham hocks are still cooking, but it's been almost two hours. I'm gonna check on them and see if they are um, done yet. I don't think so though. Might need another hour, but I just wanna get this out of the way. So it'll be less work for me. Yeah, I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm cooking early. I'm starting Sunday dinner early, so I won't have too much to do tomorrow. And that's what's up. That's my collard greens. All right, y'all. These are the collard greens. I mean, the collard greens. These are the ham hocks right now. They're not falling off the bone yet, so they are not done. All right, y'all. So the meat is ready for my collard greens, so I'm going to take them out and, like, break it off, break all the meat off of the bone. I turned the pot down to low. 
And here we go. Oh my gosh, I don't want this to splash, honey. Oh my goodness, y'all. That's like all that fat and stuff popping on me. Yes. I want to overcook it. I want it to be just right. And we'll continue cooking inside the collard greens. Look at this. Y'all see that big old piece of nice meat? So the meat is hot, so I'm just use this fork, break it down the best I can. Ooh, look at this meat, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'm about to eat a piece. Y'all can't see me. Mm. I do like to put like a piece of this part in there. I don't know why. I just feel like that brings flavor too. That's what I like to do. You don't have to do this, but. I like to do it, just a little bit. I don't ever eat it now, but I do add a little bit in there. So I feel like I got some flavor. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to go ahead and start putting the collard greens back. First, I'm gonna put the meat back in there. This is my nice little pot liquor, that's what they call it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna dump all this meat back in. Look at that. Lovely. And now I'm gonna start putting my greens in. And it's, I mean, collard greens are really simple. I'm so glad I finally like, started making collard greens because they're so simple, it, it doesn't take much at all. This is all I'm using to season my collard greens, a little accent, and some garlic powder. I sometimes, or well, I usually put, um fresh red peppers in there but I don't have any so we're not gonna do those so I'm gonna just dump these in there mm -hmm. dump a little bit more I'm gonna do these a little bit more in there probably just put them for all of those in mm -hmm. just like that And no matter how much collard greens you have, the greens are gonna cook down. So depending on how many people you are cooking for, you might need like more collard greens. But I just got one 36 ounce bag and that's for me and my boyfriend. And that usually lasts us a little while. So I'm just seasoning. I'm gonna season, put some collard greens season and mix that's it mix 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 so don't be afraid to make a mess guys that's what happens sometimes when you're cooking Woo, that smells good already i cannot wait until it's done i think this is gonna be real good oh my goodness right now i have the heat on low this big old stem mm -mm. but yeah y'all can use whatever seasoning y'all want to use but these are the seasonings i use and that i've been using since i started making collard greens i actually got this from one of my mom's friends so yeah I started doing it too, and the collard greens have been fine. These are just simple collard greens, y'all. I've seen people do like broth and cut up onions and peppers. And even I used to do that before I found out that it was really just simple. I used to put onions and red peppers in there and all that kind of stuff. But these are simple collard greens and they taste really, really good. So the last thing I'm gonna do, which is something I did like the last two times I made collard greens, was add a little hot 
hot sauce in. Some people will add vinegar. Some people add hot sauce. I like to add the hot sauce. I don't know. I feel like it gives it a little bit of pizzazz. So I'm going to put a little hot sauce in there. Not too much, but enough for the collard greens. And then we're going to mix those in. Woo! Ooh, y'all. I can't wait. Okay. Mm, it smells magnificent. That's all it takes for collard greens. Now I'm going to put the top on. And I like to cook them until they are like, I don't know how to explain it, but like not crunchy, not too firm, and also not chewy, like not soft, but they have a good bite, but not hard. I don't like no crunchy, hard colorings. I just like to cook them until they're well done. So that's probably like 40, 45 minutes, but I'm gonna come back in 30 minutes and see what they taste like. And I'll pick y'all back up. Then. All right, y'all, it's been about 40 minutes, and this is how the greens look. They're looking good. They got their color. They smell good. So now I'm going to taste them and see if they are to my liking. See if I'm going to add some more seasoning or anything like that. And then we'll go from there. So let's see. So that's my piece. It's still a little crunchy. So I'm gonna go, let them go for like maybe 15 more minutes. Also gonna add a little bit more seasoning. Cause they taste good, but I want a little bit more seasoning. So I'm gonna add a little more accent and a little more garlic powder. And to drop more hot sauce. I'm gonna stir that in real good. And this is just enough meat too, because I know the last time I made the collard greens, I made some collard greens. Um, there were three things of ham hocks, and I only had two small bags of collard greens, and it was way too much meat in my opinion. But right now, this looks like just enough meat. Look at that. That's lovely. All right, y'all. So it's been about maybe an hour, maybe like an hour and 15 minutes. And the collard greens are done. So yeah, they're done. They have a nice bite to them. And they taste good. So yeah, these are my collard greens for Sunday dinner tomorrow. But these gonna be real good tomorrow. They gonna soak up all that flavor and juice. Oh, cannot wait. All right, y'all, so I'm done cooking for tonight. Collard greens are done. I will see you guys in the morning when it's time for the beef stew. Hey, y'all, I am back. It's the next day, and it's time to make this beef stew. It has been marinating since last night, and it smells delightful. <laughs> so what I'm about to do is put some flour on there and put some oil in my pan, which is right here. And then I'm going to brown the meat and put it in the um in the crock pot. So stay tuned. All right, so all the meat is browned. And now I'm going to Put a little bit of broth in this pan to get all of the all of those um, like all of the seasonings from at the bottom of the pan, and put it inside the um, crock pot. <laughs> I already scraped the bottom of the pan with that other broth. So that's two cans. Spread that out real good. Now I'm gonna add my mix, my gravy, my all just gravy. Ooh. 
and I'll just add a little bit of it. I mean, not a little bit, maybe half of the pack. That's good. Because I'm still going to add some more stuff. Mix that in. Now I'm going to add some cocoa powder, unsweetened. And this just that brings out the flavor. So just about that much, maybe a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, like that much. Mix that in. Now I'm gonna add some of my Better Than Bouillon Roasted Beef Base. This is how it looks, just a little bit. About that much. And all of that will cook down, get them all mixed up in there good. So that's everything that I add at this point. Where is my top? I'm gonna put the top on it and then turn this on low for eight hours. I'll see y'all in four hours. All right, y'all. Now it is time to saute these potatoes, carrots, and onions. You don't have to do this. Oh, that's a lot of potatoes, huh? I probably should have got two bags of carrots, but that's fine. It'll be all right. Yeah, you don't have to do this, but I like to just saute a little bit and put some seasoning on them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Put a little oil on there. And all this is what I'm gonna put on here is pepper. I will put some crushed peppers, but I'm out. So I'll put some, um, let me see, some garlic. And then it'll go in there. Into the pot. And I'm going to saute these for like five to six minutes and then put them in the pot. potatoes can get done the meat is like it, it tastes good but it can cook a little more this is the beef stew Ooh, look at that that's gonna be so good i cannot wait i also made some rice and then y'all saw me make the collard greens last night but they were in the fridge so they're not um they're not hot right now. I gotta heat them. But yeah, that's the food. All right, y'all. So dinner is ready. Dinner is served. I have some white rice on the plate. And I'm, not, I'm about to go ahead and fix my plate real quick and show you guys what it's looking like and give it a taste test. Mmm. 
It smells really, really good in here. It smells like Sunday dinner, which I love a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm gonna add some carrots in here. Here are the collard greens, which I have heating up right now. Everything smells so good. Can't wait to eat. All right, so I'm gonna put. Let me move this back. Let me not make a mess. This is what it's looking like. Beef stew, white rice, and some good old collard greens. Yes. Y'all see the steam coming out? It's looking amazing. All right, y'all, let's do this taste test. I know how it tastes, y'all, but I did use the mustard this time, so it'll be a little different, I guess. Let's see. I got my hot sauce right here, my Tabasco, because I'm going to try it with hot sauce and without hot sauce. I put hot sauce on everything. That's it right now. That's good. Do y'all like Tabasco or do y'all like, well, my other favorite hot sauce is Crystal. So, what y'all think about Tabasco? Mm. The Tabasco just gives it like another flavor, like another, it brings it to another level, y'all. Tell me down in the comments, do y'all like Tabasco? Some people don't like Tabasco because it's kind of strong and overpowering, but I like Tabasco. Let's try meat. Mm. 10 out of 10, y'all. would recommend. All right, y'all. That is the end of this Sunday dinner cooking video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments, what do you guys want me to cook next? Because I love to eat and I love to cook. So let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.